Hey guys, and welcome back to Dino Crisis 2. When we last left off, we managed to uh, get the key that we needed. <clears throat> We've shot our way through about 658 million dinosaurs with our new heavy machine gun, which is pretty freaking badass. And we found ourselves in a new control area. And one second, my cat has jumped on my missus' computer. You know, you're not allowed up there. Yeah, no. In the arse, aren't you? Like, you are. No matter how many times, ha. Huh. Okay, I was gonna cut this bit out, but that's a really damn cool idle animation. Regina's just chilling out, leaning on her gun. Okay, so let's see what this is. Manager's Diary, Mechanics, June 2nd, 10.30pm. Tomorrow afternoon, two mechanics are coming down to the facility from Edward City. It is time for the annual maintenance check of the third energy reactor. This will be the ninth time. The instant something happens to the underwater reactor, that is when all lifelines will be cut off to us. Again, all we can do is pray that nothing will happen. As weird as it may sound, sometimes I feel that it'll do us all a favor if the reactor just blew up on us. Oof. June 3rd, 4 p.m. The mechanics who went to the underwater third energy reactor still have not returned. They probably became the... They probably became their lunch. Whose lunch? The reactor's lunch? Who's they? This is a problem. One of the mechanics, Bob, yes, Bob, has the key to the entrance of Edward City. To go from this facility to the city, it is critical that we get back the key. I guess there is no real choice but to get in the diving suit and go down myself. I just hope I don't become their dinner. Their dinner? We just do we just assume that there are dinosaurs everywhere now? Alright, uh okay, cool. So things are not going overly brilliant here, were they? So they were here for ten years. Yeah, oh well. Nine oh hello. Nine years at least. That's pretty crazy. Key for the box. Oh, that's the box of tools, isn't it, I guess. I'm guessing we can't go down here. There is no response. To use this elevator, you need to operate the control terminal next to the elevator. That makes sense. To operate this control terminal, you need the mechanic's ID card. We don't have that. So, have we got to do a water... I vaguely remember that, actually. A water section. Oh, dear. And I think we have to get some kind of diving suit. What about a gas mask, though? What about the facility that we haven't been in yet? Oh, yay. Oh, hey friend, plenty for you. There's plenty in the tank. Plenty in the tank. Oh man, that's really cool. I kind of want to leave the game running uh, in my own time just to see what all the different idle animations are. Because that was pretty baller actually. All right, we're doing well. Oh, look, there's more back there. There's more dinosaurs. Come on, Dino. Oh, you made me lose my combo. You dopey bastard. Oh, you shit. Now he just made me lose my my no kill bonus or no damage bonus, I should say. <clears throat> well, that's okay. Let's rack up some more of these guys. I mean, I don't know really what else we could use money for. I'm guessing that Dylan is going to get his own uh, set of super-powered weapons. Maybe he also uses the machine gun and the rocket launcher. I'm not sure. But we'll, we'll figure it out as we go through. Why are you not doing the quick turn now? There we go. Do you know why she wasn't doing the quick turn? It was because I was pushing the wrong button. All right, there we go. All right, let's try and redeem that run, shall we? These guys are so good to farm. Like, unbelievably good to farm. 
And they're not really that much of a threat. Not really. Any more? It's kind of shocking how easy these things are to kill. Well, I mean, it's kind of shocking how easy everything is to kill with this heavy machine gun. You know, the word over t uh, overpowered gets used a lot these days. Well, the phrase overpowered, I should say. But it genuinely is. Right, I think we have got the key for that. Uh, right. Mm, nope. Key for the box. I'm guessing it's that. Alright. Look like mini discs. The security code for the elevator to the underwater third energy reactor has been changed. The new code is 4521. Okay. Wait. So there was no, like, actual tools there. Uh, okay. Where was that, then? Because we haven't... No, oh, there's nothing there. Patrol ship is back. Yeah. Alright, well, there must be something else in this reactor, I suppose. Because we need this key to get to Edward City. And I'm guessing Edward City is another area that was teleported in. Hey, we did get no damage bonus there, so... Hey, that was cool, I suppose. Sure. We'll take it. Won't we, Regina? Yes, we'll take it. Well, you'll take it. I'm going to sit here and drink coffee. Uh, and think about the upcoming GTA uh, box set that's supposedly coming out. I am looking forward to that. Oh, no! I knew these things would be here. I knew it. Ah, fuck these things. Ah, oh, what a terrible enemy. There's always an enemy in a, every game that's just not fun. Yeah, I, I don't even know what's going on. Like, you, there's no sense of direction here at all. There's no real idea if you're even hitting it. Like, it's so difficult to work out whether they're in front of you, whether they're behind you. Oh, man, it's a mess. There's an ID card inside his shirt pocket. Ah, well, there's a mechanics ID card. I suppose we needed that. Uh, oh, piss off you. Seriously. Really not interested in your bullshit. There is a small boiler. It must have been built after the arrival to this world. Well, technically, are they not in our world? They're just in a different time zone. Ah, uh, time is confusing. Yeah, I do not like those pterodactyls at all. They're awful enemies. Absolutely awful enemies. Uh, okay. So far, they're the only thing about... Oh, is this glass going to shatter? Are we going to get attacked? Kind of getting that vibe, you know? Nothing to buy. Uh, yeah, sure. We'll buy it. Why not? Nothing else to spend all of our hard-earned money on. Although we could have got an upgrade for that. But I'm sure that's coming. Um, now, we could actually upgrade this gun uh, and give it a deeper magazine but honestly there's no point it kills everything in like one hit so you know okay let's have a look through here so we'll break this control yeah we've got it just use the damn card honestly uh right oh shit what was it it was four five is it two, one? Yes, I remembered it. Excellent. I'm actually very proud of myself for that. I'll treat myself later. I don't know what I'm going to do. Maybe I'll have more coffee. It leads to the underwater facility. Will you operate the elevator? Well, I guess I guess we've got a choice. So sub level. Uh, we're not underwater yet. too quiet down here Regina I don't trust it nope I think we're okay sub level elevator ah 
There we go. Ooh, there's a card over there. Well, I mean... <sighs> oh, no. We've got switch bullshit, haven't we? This terminal controls the power to all of the machines in the room. The power has been shut to the elevator and to the diving suit enclosure. Displayed on the displayed on the screen is the program to restart the power. Will you restart the power? Uh, yeah, I guess. Reactivating main power. <laughs> Please check computer until power is supplied to all devices. Okay. Warning. When power is overloaded, this reactivation process will be suspended. Uh. Uh. The power has been overloaded, suspending the reactivation process. So we have to push the buttons when they flash. You have failed to restart the main power. Well, I guess we're going to try again. Oh, right. Okay. Good thing we have this magical bloody lightsaber thing that seems to fix overloading power. Oh, no. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, God. At least we can get that those two in one swipe. Oh, come on. <sighs> All right. That was weird. Well done, Regina. We'll make an engineer out of you yet. Yeah, that was... Uh, that was a thing. Uh, what's up here? Nothing. Okay, is there going to be like a big enemy chasing us around here? It just seems like this room is set up for that. Oh, there's a diving suit, I guess. Looks like the HEV Mark IV from uh, Half-Life. To Bob, I heard that you were placed in charge of this area. As a present for your new position, here's a memo, which may come in handy. It's about restarting the power. Well, a bit late for that. When you try and initialize, initialize the power restarting program, it often stops, right? Well, it's due to the malfunctioning of the three control terminals. Here are some tips to operate it. When you initialize the program, it quickly overloads and the lamp turns red, right? Well, when that happens, all you need to do is just give it some electric shock with some kind of tool. Sorry, my cat's set up, so no good again. It should wake the sucker up. Anyway, good luck. See ya, Mike. All right, well, I mean, that would have been useful. I mean, it's a pretty obvious puzzle anyway, I suppose. Yes, the cat's back on top of the missus computer. You got the diving suit. One second, guys. You are a menace. An absolute menace you are. <sighs> right. So what can we do with this diving suit? Go diving, I guess. All right. Uh, right. What does this button do? Regina wore the diving suit to go down to the un. She did. Okay. Cool. Do we see that or no? Okay. Oh, this whole thing's the elevator. Got ya. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, look at this. Yep. <sighs> Crocodiles of sorts. Do we have a weapon? I hope we have a weapon. If we don't have a weapon, we're in trouble. Maybe. Wow, we got a lot of health packs. Wish we could dodge like that in the actual game. 
Uh, here we go. Weapon? Oh, we do have a weapon. Okay. Some kind of dart gun thing. We do anything else? Oh. We can rocket jump. Although we're underwater, so it's not really a rocket jump, is it? Yeah, we don't want any of that shit anyway. Oh, hello. So I guess this dart gun's got a fairly respectable range. It's a panel which displays the power supply to the elevator. Currently, the power is being supplied normally. Okay. So where are we going exactly? Alright. Oh, that's pretty cool. A like weird rocket jump type thing. Can we read about this thing that we have? Oh, our health isn't exactly great, is it? There we go. Key item. Diving suit. Check. Underwater gear made of metal. It's equipped with jet propulsion, which enables you to jump. Okay. All right. I see what you're saying. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Oh, God. That was a little bit uncomfortable, mind you. But we can't move very fast, which, you know. Oh, we can kind of move around as well as we're falling. That's also interesting. Oh. All right, got ya. Uh-oh. Oh, God. you got to be a little bit careful with these things. Yeah, they're a little bit spicy. Uh, so we can't carry any more of those. Well, that's us. You know what we can do, though? We can eat one of these. Just because. And then we can carry another one of those. <laughs> yeah, we'll take a large med pack. So we only have large med packs. I'm happy about that. Uh, yeah, yeah, not exactly great. Got to be careful with those things. But then I oh, a save room. Can we up? Nah, I suppose we can't really upgrade any of this stuff because apparently we have no ammo limit. Uh, we'll go for a save, though, I guess, just in case something bad happens. Although, we have four resuscitation kits. Uh, but we might be able to buy something new. No. No. Um, I guess... Oh! Aqua grenade. Single... Uh, most powerful underwater weapon. Fires a small torpedoes capable of destroying hard materials. Alright, aqua grenade. Well done. That escalated quickly. Ooh. Preventative maintenance. As always, we'll conduct the preventative maintenance by assigning labor tasks. Bob will be in charge of the third energy reactor itself. Alec will be in charge of checking the water circulation system. As in previous years, for the safety of our mechanics during maintenance work, make sure to close the shutters for the cooling aqueducts. Alec will unplug the plug which allows control of the shutter and keep it until Bob is done checking the reactor. The other day there was an explosion in the water circulation chamber. This explosion caused a crack in one of the concrete columns. One more explosion would probably have destroyed it. Remember to repair that as well. So, do we need to destroy that? I mean, if we can buy a torpedo launcher, that seems likely, I guess. I do like this weird PlayStation blur filter that they've put on. You know, that was quite big for the PS1. They did like their blur filters. There's a sign which prohibits entry. Temporarily, the area is closed due to maintenance check of the third energy. Yeah, sure. Yeah, Metal Gear used this quite a lot, I remember. 
It's like the PlayStation 2. The PlayStation 2 used heavy use of uh, motion blur in a lot of games. It was kind of a cool effect when they first showed it off, but it really kind of got annoying. Alright, come on you big ugly bastards. I got unlimited ammo. And I ain't afraid to use it. A stack some bodies. It's not exactly the most powerful weapon ever. And what is annoying is you can't... You can't tell when there's enemies around the corner. Which is definitely starting to show its issues. To be honest. Okay. Clean sweep. Another 2,700 in the bag. We like it. Ooh. Back off. Slowly back off. Yeah, this is going to be a bit of a dick, isn't it? It's actually quite a clever effect for the... Oh, could we not quite make it up there? Yeah, it's quite a clever effect for the old PlayStation, this. Uh-oh, uh-oh, we're going to get bitten. Nope, we're good. Ooh, that was close. I thought he had our ass then. That was really sketch. So how do we, can we like use this? It's a small elevator used for construction. To operate it, you'll need to resume power. Right, okay. And then I'm guessing, so, oh, fuck me. Yeah, that's the problem. You can't hear them. And as soon as the scene's like transition happens, it's too late. It's right in your face. Again, that's really bad game design. But I suppose that's a holdover from it's a control terminal from the water circulation near the third energy reactor. It seems to be working normally. There's no need to operate it. Yeah, that seems to just be an issue, to be honest, with the way um, these camera angles are set up. Which does lead into another interesting point, man. These, uh, as we've spoken about before in the Discord, these weird... You know, all these old school tank controlled uh, fixed camera perspective games. You know, as much as it might be fun to think about having some new ones, eh, they did cause a lot of problems. I don't like not seeing, you know, what my character can see. It just doesn't make. Ah, look at that. Like, I couldn't even have seen that. There's no way. I mean, it doesn't matter, taking a couple of bites here and there, you know, it, it doesn't really mean anything. But, yeah, it's one of those things that definitely hasn't really aged that well. And to be honest, I always thought I missed it, but I don't think I do. Because I do, I mean, like Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil 3, the remakes, I really liked how they handled those, the third person. I really thought it worked. Oh, actually, can we go up here? The first person stuff is a bit... Uh, I don't know. I do like it, but I definitely prefer third person for my Resident Evil. I like seeing my character. Oh, fuck. Come on, that was close. Yeah, so with any luck, um, <clears throat> well, I was going to say, with any luck, we won't get any more third-person Resident Evils, but yeah, you know we will. I think first-person is here to stay. Which is uh, unfortunate, but I guess it's the way it is. That was close. That was... Oh, God, I didn't even see the gap there. Mind the gap, kids. Ah, a section of the column has cracked, making it weak. With a weapon with a little 
firepower, you okay, to be able to destroy it. So, oh fuck. That's the bit we need to destroy. Yeah, because we can't quite make it up. So we do need to buy the Aqua Torpedo. Uh, we can afford it because we have enough extinction points. So uh, I guess we're going to go back. I don't know if that's like an optional area or if we have to destroy that. I'm guessing we probably have to destroy that. And I might have to call this one early, guys. Oh, fucking hell. Although it won't be that much early. Just because my missus is going to finish work very soon. Alright, let's get out of here. And she always gives me a ring on the way home, so... Uh, let's go. Oh, fucking hell. You little sneaky bastard. Come on. Take your medicine. Yeah, very difficult to avoid those guys. Can we? Whilst we're here. No. I was wondering if we could dart on the top of those boxes. And I don't know if this game does have optional areas. I have no idea if there's stuff that we can miss. Yeah, this is dark. <laughs> I am. Oh, fucking hell. Oh. We got two. I was going to say, I have no idea if we're uh, getting attacked or anything. Ah, yes. Back in the save room. Save room's quite, is quite an interesting... Um, ambience here because we're underwater we've still got that and it kind of works kind of sounds pretty cool now i hate buying a weapon that we're only going to be able to use underwater i was going to say game it does seem a little bit strange and there she is phoning me on time right i'm going to go buy the weapon guys and i will see you guys in the next part so thank you very much for watching and as always till next time